All right, Vickers Tactical YouTube fans, today is a special day. We're back out here at Fort Bragg on Range 44. We've hooked back up with the Special Forces 18 Bravo Committee. This time it's Heavy Weapons Day. We got low and high velocity 40 millimeter grenade launchers, as well as RPG 7s, Carl Gustafs, AT4s, and a special treat, the Javelin. You're definitely gonna wanna stay tuned for this special event. All right, fans, I'm out here with Sergeant First Class Bill, who happens to be the senior instructor on the heavy weapons side of the house of the 18 Bravo Committee. Thanks for having us out, brother. I appreciate it. Thanks for coming out. Bill, if you would, take us through what the purpose of today is out here on the range. Well, Larry, first off and foremost with these students, most of them never seen how an anti-tank live fire range has been run before. So it's basically an intro on how to run an anti-tank range. Also, it's their chance to live fire some of the weapons we've been testing on over the last two weeks. And what's some of the stuff you guys go through back in the classroom and out here? Pretty much cover everything from the technical data of the weapon systems, employing systems, how to engage anti-armor vehicles, the multi-purpose systems that we use here, all the stuff that they're gonna see, whether it's a conventional weapon or a soft specific weapon, or even a foreign weapon, stuff that they'll see when they go down range with their detachment. And this is, and what we're talking about today, is above small arms, so it's above 50 caliber, but where does it limit? I guess you, you don't cover howitzers and stuff like that? No, um, for this portion of the class, we just cover anti-tank rockets. So we can have everything from 40 millimeter low velocity grenades to 84 millimeter rockets. How many weeks into the program is this range day? Uh, this range day is about eight weeks into the weapons course right now, Larry. Starting Monday, we move on to the next phase and they'll be with me for about another five weeks. Cool. And then you guys rotate through this every two months or so? About every two months we have a new class. So we run about, on average, six to 10 classes a year. Good deal. Now, if you don't mind, take us through some of the hardware you got out here for the guys to shoot. Sure thing. First thing we have up here is the H&K M320. This is a low velocity shoulder fire grenade system. Uh, this is one of the newer systems that the Army has. This is replacing the M203, which is an older grenade launcher mounted under the barrel of a M4 or M16. Uh, the cool thing with this system is you have dual capabilities. You can either have it mounted on a rifle system or you can have it as a standalone operating system like we have today. So it, in a way, uh, blends kind of the M79 and the M203 in, in terms of weapon mounted and detachable, so you get in a handheld mode. Yes, um, this is, like I said, this is the newest of the new. So they've taken both great features of the M79 and the 203 combined it into this system. Um, also with these newer systems, they're coming out with a newer, I believe, medium velocity round, which should add more range to this weapon system. I hadn't heard that. How long you guys had these? Uh, we've had these for about two years now, Larry. Okay. Now, user gets the preference on how they want to mount it, but for soft purposes, I know myself and a couple other fellas like to carry it standalone version. Carry it just like a breaching shotgun. Mount it on your kit, just put it behind your arm. When it's time to need it, sling your rifle and pull it out. Pop out your handle and start engaging your targets. Now this thing does come with a day sight, iron sight. Obviously you're gonna do a range estimate to your target. Apply that range estimate to your sight and you're just gonna rotate your sight back until your front sight lines up with your range estimated sight and start engaging your targets. Hey, today was the first time I've had a chance to shoot an M320. However, I have shot the GLM, which is the HK predecessor to the 320. Fantastic grenade launcher. I can see why the U.S. Army adopted it to replace the M203, and it's seen use in special operations as well as NATO and allied special operations for quite a while. Very, very effective grenade launcher. <laughs> 